sports gets the blood flowing, brain energized, and when I'm swimming or running or something, I, I try to, to put a problem in my head that I'll be thinking about during the day. The, the, the neurons start processing what may be happening, and the sports gets the blood flowing in the neurons, and it really helps. And then boom, the whirlwind starts. Meetings with students, faculty meetings, teaching, meeting with students. I'm actually a space alien, and I feed off their brain waves. So I, when I get them thinking, they emanate more energy, and then I It's just so much fun to help other people learn how to take what they've got and, and do stuff with it to where they said, oh, I really love that. Okay, so what you got here is what we call our solar simulator. And down at the bottom there, we've got our salt tank. We had to get a couple of kilowatts of optical power to melt the salt and to demonstrate that the light from the sun will penetrate a pool of salt. So we'll, ex we'll absorb the energy of the sun in a liquid pool of salt. And that way you can't hurt it. It's seven one and a half kilowatt lamps. Is that right, Danny? Yeah, that's right. And we get about a one and a half kilowatts net at the base. A little more than that if you count the near infrared. Okay, so almost so two. two kilowatts. $10,000 for the whole caboodle. The editors of Solar Energy actually really liked it because this is a low-cost way that anybody can build a sun in their basement. So this is a precision machine design, and we cover how do you link the philosophy so you can design stuff really fast with the mathematics that will follow, which you'll need to truly optimize the design. We do that uh, in the concept of projects that students do, medical devices, there's one project is a stroller, uh, some grinding machine design, that kind of stuff. So the endoscopic gripper is at 2 o'clock? I'm sorry, you just said now. I'm sorry, no, it's 2, two o'clock on Thursdays. Okay. The stroller group is at noon on Thursdays. The most challenging thing is being human, and there's only uh, 24 hours in a day, you know. And all this speed of light silliness, I mean, what a drag. I would say nine out of 10 ideas are the worst ideas I've ever had and they're complete total failures. And uh, that causes the, this follicle impairment, you know, the upstairs and then the gray here. <laughs> but you learn from those and you get hurt. And you know, you say, okay, I learned from that. So the next idea is gonna be really good. <laughs> Cheers to a fun day.